In tonight's OIO prep profile, Andy tells us that Elida girls soccer is a family affair. Senior Jensie Jenkins scored the game winning goal this week to take down rival Bath. She has been playing for her sister Elise Jenkins for years and their relationship both on and off the soccer field has blossomed because of it. When she was coaching, my cousin Brady was coaching, and so I came here like all through middle school and played with them. I've just been at these fields my whole life, I feel like, and so it's just second nature for August to come around and me to start coming out here and playing soccer. I mean, it's fun. We bump heads sometimes. Um, she likes to challenge me, and I kind of sometimes have to put her in her place. But, you know, that bond that we have, I try to, you know, when we're on the field, it's soccer, try to put those emotions aside. Um, but it's going to be a hard year, I think, emotionally. Um, seeing her grow and being a senior and being one of those top players, I'm gonna have, there's gonna be a little pressure on her, but I don't want her to have any pressure. I just want her to go out there and just have fun. I've been watching the high school girls my whole life, so I've kind of been waiting for this moment to be a senior and really kind of have that build up energy and charisma to use it all this year. She's a great leader. She not only you know brings that quality of the vocal part, but she really does lead by example. She's probably one of my best practice players. Um, she works hard in the off season, and um, her scoring ability is what we're going to look. What we're going to rely on this year, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what she can do. Jenkins was a part of Elida's four by one and four by two hundred meter relay teams that made the podium at regionals last year, and she believes that team success will help in soccer. The chemistry with our team and our track team. We have a lot of soccer girls on it, so I really like having a good track team and a good track year coming into soccer it kind of brings the same good energy high energy let's go far let's do well and it always keeps me in good shape too so i can't be mad about that a good leader knows what they need to work on and jenkins has some goals in mind stay humble stay grounded and be patient especially with everyone around me we're a young team this year patience is going to be very key especially for me as a person i struggle with that so i think patience is going to be my number one thing for this year the Jenkins sisters, a deep spiritual bond as well. We pray before every game, we pray after every practice. So I mean, that's the kind of stuff that makes it nice to have her there with me, who's also grounded in the faith. We really, really bring Christ to soccer as much as we possibly can. So I guess FCA to me is second nature. You know, we're here for soccer, but then we're also here to glorify God. And so. I guess to me it's just important to incorporate it and make sure that we're giving credit to who really deserves it in the end of the day.